What's up, YouTube? Curtain6693 here. Here to bring you gaming anime news. As well as anything that I find interesting. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I haven't made a video in a while. But I've just been busy. But I'm on fall break now. As you can see, the background. I'm back in my old, in my old house. Um, the, uh, this will probably this and the next video will probably be the uh, only two videos that I'll make here. Then I'll be back at college uh, at the end of today. But, um, but let's move on. You know, GTA 5, you know, review, f spoilers, and the whole shebang bang. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to get into too much detail, though, because I kind of feel like there's just really just so much GTA that I'm really just going to touch on the three main bases, which would, which would be story, gameplay, and graphics, and then the online, and then the final verdict. So let's get started. Man, uh, you know, GTA, billion dollar in three days. You know, everybody's everybody in the mother's been playing it. Um, you know, everybody's been talking about it, everybody's been complaining about it, as far as the, uh, the online servers, you know, um, the microtransactions, apparently, apparently, you know, Rockstar said that they're giving us a stimulus package, like, they're giving us, like, half a million dollars if you play the game, like, at the, at the beginning, the online, or something like that, um, so that's good, uh, but let, let, let's get down to it, so GTA 5, uh, story, so, like I said, for like I said, for GTA games are usually long, so getting into the story, you know, like getting into like the details of every mission, I'm I'm not doing that. So uh, just to give you a brief overview, you know, it starts off, you know, uh, you know, uh, somewhere in North Yankton, um, basically the place with a lot of snow. You got Michael, Trevor, this guy named Brad, and like this other person. They're ro they're robbing this they're robbing this bank. You know, things go to shit. Michael gets shot. Brad gets shot. Um. Trevor escapes, then and then you see Trevor and Michael's funeral, but then you see Michael uh, uh, hidden away in the background. Basically, he he you find out that he survived, and like he made like a deal with some of the agents, and and like and now and now he's living in San Andreas. He's been living there for like the past ten years, living the high life, and then and then tr tr then Michael runs into Franklin. Shit goes down. Um, and Franklin, he's a he's a repo man for this car dealership, and then and then but and from that he runs into Franklin. Oh, I mean, he runs in Franklin runs into Michael. Shit, his shit hits the fan, and they pull off a big heist. Uh, you you run into Lester, um, you know, and then Trevor finds out that Michael's still alive, and then then Trevor comes. Then more shit hits the fan. Then you have like these different corrupt government uh, agents, and I and all these corrupt militia. Everything goes. Everything goes south, and the 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 bulk of the first third of the game is pretty much getting all the three characters together. You know, get getting getting the three characters getting you know set, and then getting Lester getting pretty much putting things in place. The middle of the game is pretty much you pulling off heists, you doing missions for for these corrupt uh, uh government agencies. Basically, they they pretty much got you, got you by your by your ear. Um, uh, especially Michael. Um. And then you have Michael trying to deal with his family. His family leaves him for like the middle of the game. Um, and then the la and 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 I will say as far as the story, I would say the middle of the game is where it kind of lost me, where I start to lose interest in what was going on, because it's really really just you just doing a lot of missions, a lot of he said she said this really happened, that really happened, um, you know type stuff. Um, it picks up again when you and you when you play as Michael and you trace Trevor. Uh, right before like the big heist, you chase treasure, Tre Trevor, uh, back up to North Yankton, and then Trevor digs into the grave, and then you find out that Brad has been dead. Then. Well, which in my opinion, we all pretty much knew that uh, Trevor, ha uh, Brad had been dead the entire time. You know, and then Trevor's pissed off at um, he's pissed off at Michael. Um, then more shit, more shit goes down, but then they eventually make up, and then they, uh, and then kind of make up. Well, I would say, I would say, instead of saying make up, they, they, they pretty much deal with each other. And then from that point, you have, um, you have, um, you know, the last big heist, um, they, they steal all these bars of gold, um, and then basically... Uh, basically, my Franklin is 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 uh, uh, approached by you know some some of the uh, some of the enemies of the game, and they basically tell him you know you have a choice you can either kill Mike uh, kill Trevor kill uh, Michael or or you're all dead, um, because basically they they want Michael and Trevor dead because of their history and stuff, 
and the shit that they've done throughout the course of the game. And I chose I chose the ending um where, where the Death Wish ending where you pretty much where you pretty much tell them that hey these guys are looking to kill all of us and you pretty much have a final standoff with them. And then at the end of the game they all pretty much decide to um they all pretty much decide to kill off all all loose ends, kill off everybody in the game who's pretty much giving them trouble. Um, they kill off the the Chinese man Wei Ching. They kill off the uh, guy named Stretch. They, they they just everybody you know just everybody you know everybody who's causing them trouble. And then they pretty much have that just happily ever after uh, ending. Now and that's and that's a problem that I have. I do kind of feel like the ending it kind of reminds me of uh, Legend of Korra by Avatar in the sense that. You know, like in the Avatar Legend of Korra, you know, you had like in the season one, you had like this, you know, he had he had this guy, he had a problem with this guy, you had this guy, he had a problem with that guy. You know, and then on the last episode, everything just gets wrapped up. Like so like it was too clean, it was too easy. Um uh, and that's kinda how I feel with uh five, is that you know, everyone get everyone got killed off, you know, nothing happened, you know, it, it just it, it felt a little too smooth to me. Um I liked the sense of closure that it had, but I did. But at the same time, at the same time, I was kind of like it felt a little too easy. But I will say this though, in his defense, that of course, there's, of course, there's going to be DLC. There's probably there's probably going to be you know maybe like an epilogue uh, or maybe like a uh, you know something that takes place after the events of the, of the story mode. Basically, I don't think this is the end of the trio. I think that there will be more to to be uh, to be uh, to to show with uh, Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. Um, so that's pretty much the story. I mean, good story. I kind of lost me in the middle. Picked up at the end. Uh, the ending was a little too clean, but that's okay. It, it, you know, uh, like I said, for there's there's gonna be DLC. Of course, there's gonna be more. So we'll just have to wait, wait and see. Um, now, as far as the game, let's talk about the gameplay. Gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect. Um, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you can think of. I mean, you can play. I mean, you. Uh, I like how the characters have their own stats now. Like one character's good at this while they suck at this. One character's good at that while they suck at that. And you can build up on all those uh, skills. Like you know, like Michael, he's really good at shooting. And he's okay. He's okay at driving. Um, but but he's not. He's not very physical. Uh, he can fight, but he's not very physical. Franklin is very good at uh, he's very good at like racing, and he and he does have some stamina, but uh, and he and he has some strength, but he's not, but he may, he's not the, he's not the best shooter, um, or or the best at fly, flying helicopters. Trevor is very strong and very good at flying helicopters, but he sucks at driving, you know, um, and he. I would say he doesn't have the best stamina either, and not, and I don't think any of them have much lung capacity either. Um, but I do like that you know you can you can train those different aspects. What I what I would like to see eventually, and this is kind of uh, hopping a little bit forward for like the next game, GTA Six, is I would love it to be kind of like Saints Row in the sense of like character like character creation, where you make you make a fa a male or a female, and uh, you know, and of course there'll be different scripts and different things that'll go on with the, the one of the two characters. And that way, it like that way, if you want to like, it'll, it'll be kind of like CJ and San Andreas. Like if you want to work out and get buff, the game will, will you will see your character get bigger. You know, if you want to get fat, if you want to get skinny, if you want to get uh, lean and athletic, um, you know, if you want to become anorexic, <laughs> you know, you can depend on do whatever you want. Uh, but that that's a whole other conversation. But uh, but yeah, you but you you can there are some levels of customization in GTA Five. I mean, you can get tattoos. You can. I mean, it's not a whole bunch. You, I mean, because you can change clothes. But I'll be kind of uh, you, you can change clothes. Um, you can get different tattoos. Um, just did just different stuff. But I'll be kind of honest though. Like, I, I, as far as changing clothes, I didn't really change clothes all that often. Like the characters, the characters do it automatically. So there's really no point, in my opinion, because there'll be sometimes where you'll switch back to Trevor, and he's like in some kind of girl outfit on the side of a mountain, surrounded by a bunch of dead bodies. Like the shit that that that, that I see that you see Trevor doing as ran at any random point when you switch characters, some of them are pretty insane. Um, wasn't gonna say. Uh, but uh, yeah, the gameplay is great. I love how you when you and back, go, going going on switching characters. I love how you can switch characters and 
all the characters are doing something that, that's appropriate to the character. Like sometimes you'll see Michael, you know, he'll be laying at home watching TV. There are other like uh there are other times where you know like he's like laying on a beach or he's chilling out somewhere or he's driving. Then you have Franklin. Sometimes he's driving too. Um, sometimes he's like he'll leave like a shop or he'll be you know he'll be hanging around a bunch of black people. Um, and then you have Trevor, he, he just does all random stuff, like, sometimes you'll see him, you know, he, he's, he has some guy tied to a pole, or, or he's walking around with nothing on, um, or throwing up, waking up on, a, next to a, a, tr a, tr a trash bin, a trash dump thing, and, you know, he's, he's drunk out of his mind, and they all, they all, I like how, and, and the one thing I do like is the fact that they're all, like, you never run into the same situation, you know what I mean, it's always different, you know, now some of them may be similar, but they're always, like, it's not the exact same place all the time, and it's always, and it's usually something different, you know what I mean, and I like that, because it, it makes it interesting to, to switch characters, um, what was I going to say, uh, so yeah, that's really great, um, but, you know, as far as activities besides the story mode, you can pretty much do whatever you can think of. You can, uh, you can do yoga, you can golf, you can do tennis, um, you can do triathlons, you can bike race, you can, uh, boat race, you can land race, you can parachute, uh, pretty much what you can think of. Uh, like I said before, you can, you can go into real estate, um, was gonna say the only thing you actually can do that I oh at least I have yet to discover is basketball. I don't think there is basketball in GTA Five. I could be wrong, but I have yet to find that. I've yet to see that, and I actually, I actually would have preferred basketball over tennis or golf because I can't play tennis worth shit on that. On uh, I don't I don't understand tennis, so I, I I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm I just all I know is that you just hit the ball and you across the thing and you and you don't want them to hit the ball. That's all I know. I don't know anything about the rules, <laughs> so and I don't I don't play golf either. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of activities you can do. I mean, there's there's really a lot you can do. Um, there there can still be even more that you can do, but there is still a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, but one thing I would say I don't like about the gameplay is actually the helicopter control. The helicopters are very very wobbly. Um, there are some missions where you you'll have to like control the helicopter to do a specific thing. Like you'll have to adjust it to where it's like over this over this area or put it over here so you can drop something down. And there are some times where it takes me like twenty minutes just to put just to just to have it right. Um, uh, the helicopters are very, and, and, and half the time I'm playing is Trevor, who's, who's the best at fighting planes, you know what I mean, uh, is, is, uh, yeah, the planes are a little, are very difficult, I wouldn't say, I, they're very difficult uh, at times, uh, they take getting used to, I'll say that, they take getting used to, and I, I don't think anyone ever fully masters them. So that would be that's what my only biggest complaint about the about the gameplay is really that and just the fact that you know it's just the fact that there, there could be a little bit more to do, um, but there is a lot to do. Don't get me wrong. I am by, by all means I am not saying there's a lot to do. I'm just saying that I, I, I know of things that they, they that they could still put in the game. Um, I also like fighting styles too. Like in San Andreas, you know you can go you can train in the gym and you can learn fighting styles. I want that for the next game or for DLC or something. They can do that. I want that. There, there's still something they can do. Um, so that that's that's it for gameplay, not for graphics. Um, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best looking graphics that we're gonna get for Xbox and maybe even PS3 as well. Um, the graphics are great. Um, that mean that there's there. I be honest, there will be times where like you're looking over the landscape, um, and and also uh, you're, or you're looking over the uh, over the sea, and you're like, this is actually this is a video game. Oh my god, you know, like, but you you're amazed at the fact that it actually is a video game and is pulling off some of those great visuals. Um. I wasn't going to say, uh, the draw distance is really nice, too. Like, you can see far off. Um, and one thing I like about, like, little details is, like, like, um, like, when you look over a city, right, and you're, and you're on the mountainside, and the, and the city's this way, and you see all the fancy lights at nighttime, you know, kind of like New York City, all the lights are everywhere. What I do like is that it isn't just, like, a, a picture. You know, like, you know, like, some game, like, earlier games, like, you know, once you got far enough from something, the game, it would just kind of, like, it would, it would just you know, like, it would just look the same, um, like, 
Basically, what I'm saying is, it's like in GTA, you can actually see lights moving, like cars are moving. You know what I mean? Like the city feels a lot. It doesn't feel like it's just like 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 a, a, a painting of a city in the game that, that you just look at until you get close enough, and then things come to life. No, there are things a lot going on even when you're not there. It's best what I'm trying to say. Um, I, I don't know if there's a technical term for that, but that's what I was trying to say. Is like even when you look overlooking the city and you're not close enough to get into detail, you can still see that there's stuff going on you can still see cars moving you can still see lights going on and off you know like little details like that and instead of it just being that you just see this you just see this city and all the lights just sit there like you know kind of like kind of like it's like kind of like the game is like it's just it's, it's like it's like a picture and it, and it only starts moving when you get close enough you know there's stuff always going on even when you're not there um the only thing that i have to say about the graphics is just the fact that there are pop-in textures like uh, sometimes when you drive fast enough, um, you you will start driving on gray ice instead of driving on street because the game can't load in fast enough um, to keep up with that, which is understandable because the game is, in my opinion, the game is pretty much it's pretty much clocking out the the uh, the, uh, the GPU or whichever whichever one you call it is overclocking the game. Um, Oh, oh, it's pushing it to the limit. I do know that. Um, so of course there there are pop in textures, but really besides that, that's really the only graphical thing that I, that I have to complain about is just the pop in textures. Um, so yeah, so the game is great. Uh, uh, the online, there's really, in my opinion, there's really not much to say about the online. The reason why is because it's pretty much what you'd expect. You can go into free mode. You can play. You can do activities. You can go into deathmatch, survival, races. You can do heists. Uh, have your own crew. Um, you could like it's pretty much what you what you can expect. Uh, what you expect. Um, the the one thing that I don't like about the online is just the fact that sometimes a lot of people like the menus can be a little confusing. Like trying to figure out how you do this, how you do that. Um, I mean, you know, if you play around with it for a little bit, you'll figure it out. But you know, I I, I can see someone getting lost in that. Um, also, the character the, the character creation mode is kind of garbage. Like you don't really choose how you look like. You choose how your parents and your grandfather and your grandparents look like, and and it's basically like hereditary. Um, I don't know why they did that. They might as well have just made it to where you could just make your own character. But oh well. Um, what else is there? So yeah, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, the online's fine. So my final verdict of the game, in my in my opinion, is a nine out of ten. Great game, not perfect. has It uh, has some flaws. There could be things that could be better. There could be things that they that, that they could still put into the game. But I will say that like it's a great game, and that you should pick it up. And that um, and that I'm 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 way, I'm excited for the DLC. I just finished the game like last night, of course, uh, since I talked about the end of the game, um. And uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And um, I, I mean, and um, and I I I love all the characters. Um, I love all the characters in in a strange way. Um, I'll be kind of honest though. I think the character that I've grown um the most attached to, strangely, is actually Michael. Um, I've actually grown attached to Michael the most. I, I and now I understand Franklin a lot. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand Trevor. I, I mean, I understand about. Don't understand. Like he's crazy. I'm thinking anybody understands. I, I I understand where Franklin's coming from, but I feel like there's something about Michael's story with his family that I love the most. I think, in my opinion, Michael has the most interesting back uh, story, for me personally. Um, but yeah, but that's just my opinion. That is my opinion. Someone else. I know there are a lot of people who love Trevor. There are probably people out there who love Franklin. That's fine. I'm just saying that I I felt like I was most invested in Michael. Um, but it's a great game. Check it out. Nine out of ten. Um, not perfect. Not perfect. Because really, no game is perfect. But it's not perfect. But it is a great game. So you should pick it up. Uh, let me know uh, how did you guys feel about the game. Do you do you feel like the game gave uh, was uh, gave you enough? Uh, how do you feel about the activities? How do you feel about the story? How do you feel about the characters? How do you feel about the multiplayer? How do you feel about the guns in the game or just different things? You know, talk, you know, talking. How do you how do you feel about the physics? About how things work? How the game feels versus how GTA Four feels? About the about the controls? About like uh, racing versus helicopters versus parachuting? You know, let me know how you guys feel. Rate, comment, face, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Curtain Sisters 93 out.